This is the Gorok GR1, and it's kind of the OG GR1. I say kind of because we'll have to get into that as we talk about it a little bit more, but for all intents and purposes, this is the original Gorok GR1. So let's uh, let's have a chat. As I mentioned, this is the Gorok GR1, and I said it was the OG. It's not actually technically the seriously original Gorok GR1. It is but we'll kind of get into that as we go. They started making the GR1 in around 2010, as far as I know. And this is one of the most iconic backpacks there is, period. Especially for like bag nerds, you know. Like, obviously it's not a Jansport or something like that, but as far as bag nerds go, this is about as iconic as it gets. The shape is classic, the way it opens is classic, the reliability is classic, and all of those things. I didn't say it was the GR1 26 liter, which a lot of you guys will probably be like what well like is it the 26 or the 21 well it didn't start out like that it started out with just the gr1 and then there was a gr0 those would be like the 26 liter the gr1 and the gr0 would have been the 21 liter and then eventually that all changed and it was the gr1 21 liter and 26 liter this version of the bag is not actually 26 liters not as far as i can figure out it is uh compared to the 26 liter version of the bag the modern one it is a little bit more narrow here, and then it is also um, slightly shorter than that version. This is the version that came out before there was even a GR0, which would be the smaller version of it, you know, that eventually spawned. These bags are amazing because they're built of like 1000D Cordura, they're built to last. Gorux is a company that offers one of the best warranties there is in, in carry. They take care of your stuff at their SCARS department program thing. Um, this would be one of the original bags that launched the company. They started with bags. Now they have exercise routines and all kinds of other stuff and events and things that you can do. But this is kind of the product that launched it all. There are some things about this original one that make it different than the modern one. And I just kind of want to go over that in this video. So if you have the modern GR1 26 liter, you'll notice some differences between this one. And I'll kind of give you some ideas how to figure out which one you have. So let's just start with the size. As I mentioned, this one is probably closer to 24 liters, maybe 25. It is slightly shorter than the 26 liter version, and it is slightly narrower, especially down at the bottom here. That might be hard to figure out if you don't have a 26 liter to directly compare it to. So there are other things you can think about. Now, if you look at the zippers here, the zippers are these shiny, fat YKK zippers that say USA on them. That is one of the ways to figure out if you have an older version of this bag. Somewhere along the line, I believe it was around 2014, 2013, 2012. In any event, there were, at somewhere along the line, they switched from these USA made zippers to the, I believe Taiwanese made versions of them. And there was kind of a stop gap between the version they use now and this version. This is a GR1 21 liter and a, for all intents and purposes, a modern version of the bag. You can see here, the zippers are kind of thinner and definitely smaller. The zipper track themselves are the same size. It's just these zipper pulls or heads or whatever you want to call them are slightly different. Um, these are the Taiwanese made ones. There is a tiny T that's going to be almost impossible for me to show you, but you might be able to see it there. That shows you that these are Taiwanese made. These actually have USA written right across the top here. To me, to be honest, that is not a huge deal. I think that people made a lot of fuss about that when it happened. YKK is a Japanese company, not an American one. So whether their zippers are made in the States or Germany, that's another place that they're made often, or Taiwan or Japan, you're not getting inferior products either way. They're all YKK zippers. They look slightly different. Whether or not they're smoother, hard for me to say. That's not the only difference between the zippers themselves. So there's this zipper here, which is obviously something. Now you'll notice on mine, the zipper pulls have become old and fallen off. Normally Gorux look like this with this heat shrink stuff on it. Mine don't have it anymore because it was so rotten I just ripped it off, but that's okay. It doesn't really make a difference either way. Now, if you look at the laptop compartment, 
So Gorok bags have their laptop compartment back here. If you'll notice, the teeth of the zipper are out or facing out. Can you see that? The teeth of the zipper are facing out. That's another way to tell what version of the bag you have. If you look here, you end up with a zipper that the teeth are facing in. This is a very early difference between these bags. Only the very, very, very early GR1s have the zippers like that. This is probably slightly better in a lot of ways because it will keep water out and dust and all those things a little bit better. Now, you'll notice here that um, the straps are flipped around like this and it looks like, whoa, that, that kind of happened pretty easily. It's because the straps are actually sewn in slightly different on this old version. They are separated here and it's just webbing and then the strap itself starts after that. That is just something for this old version. If you look at the new one here, the straps are sewn in directly into the back here. The webbing starts with the strap on the back. If you look at the bottom of the bag, the bottom of this bag is made of a material called ballistic nylon. It is not made of the same material that you get on the rest of the bag. That is also something about the old GR1s, or it's a fe feature, I suppose, of the old GR1s. In the newer GR1s, like you just saw, it's Cordura on the bottom, just like it is on the bag itself. Another thing that differentiates this one is this front pocket. Now, this is probably my favorite difference between the old Goruck and the new Goruck. So, on this old Goruck, the pocket is its own pouch, and it only goes to about here, the first row of Molly or Pals webbing right after it. So the pocket floats. Now, why I like that is because your keys or whatever you throw in this pocket don't end up here on modern Goruks. When you throw your keys in, you end up down at the bottom here. Now I've gotten used to that and I never really thought about it as a huge deal before but when you travel like when you travel with the bag and the bottom is completely packed out and stuffed here that can be very annoying because your key being trapped down here and if this part of the bag is stuffed you can't get your hand down but in this version of the bag because the the stuff is like higher up or held higher up makes it a little bit easier to get to so if your pocket starts about here, then you know that you've got an older one. Now that being said, that the pocket being here went into like 2013, 14, I believe before they changed it. So you might have one with the short pocket, but not necessarily the OG. Going to the inside of the bag, there's not really much of a difference in the inside of the bags, but let's have a look anyway. So if I rip that open now, Obviously, I have some pouches here because I'm actually using this bag these days, but I'm gonna stuff these in here. These are um, London Bridge Training pouches. I find they work great for like my baby bottles in here and or whatever else you want. They attach to the Molly very nicely. This version of the bag has a hydration hull right here. It's quite, I don't wanna say sloppily cut, but it's like quite, I would say um, it feels handmade in the way it's cut. Whereas the new version of this bag, actually, sorry, the version that came right after also had a hole here, but it was a lot cleaner in the way it was cut. This goes right into the laptop compartment. I can actually touch my laptop there. The modern version has nothing here. It's just flat. And the hydration comes out of a um, Velcro bit here. I think the reason they did that in this particular version of the bag was you could put your hydration in the laptop compartment or in this thing. In the new one, they say, basically they say this is the hydration part, put your rucking plate or whatever in the laptop part. Aside from that, um, the inside of the bag, the very, very OG, 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 like the very first version of the GR1, which was the one that came directly before this one, this would be a mesh pocket. Now, if you got one of those, you're like way back. I'm talking like way, way back. That's like the original, original version. That would be from like 2010-ish. I actually like this pocket for my laptop, so I'm not bummed that mine isn't the original, original version. I kind of like it that it has the modern ruck plate sleeve here, but my buddy Abe has the one with the, um, the mesh pocket. Yeah, I mean, I think it's cool. It's cool that it's the OG OG, so there is that. Uh, otherwise, the bags are identical aside from that part. 
Everything else is kind of the same here. You have the same opaque pocket, the same one here. You'll notice that the zippers are shiny everywhere. Whereas, um, and then the Coyote is a little bit more of a matte finish here. And this is definitely a brighter color Coyote zipper pull compared to the ones on the modern bags. Now there's a couple of things I didn't mention yet. So if we go like this, the bottom of this bag is slightly tapered or slightly slanted on an angle. So this bag, while it does kind of stand up on its own, it's a huge leaner. Like we're talking like huge leaner. It's almost like, like if you imagine I'm looking at the bag, it looks something like this. If this is straight, it's kind of like that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a pretty big leaner. It will kind of stand on its own, but that's something to keep note. If that bothers you, the newer versions or even the version right after this will stand on its own. No problem at all. A lot straighter. Um, I think that's one ver thing they made or one change they made. This is better for like weight, keeping the weight up and all that kind of stuff. But I figure that for me, I would prefer it to be flat. But the fact that it does actually like stay upright is is a cool thing, I suppose. The other thing I want to mention that I forgot to mention earlier is that on this old version, one of the OG ones, the straps go directly into the bottom here. They are sewn directly in there. On the new version, there's this thing called a bat wing, which you see here, they call it a bat wing. That is a difference between these two. The version that comes directly after this also has this bat wing. The version that comes directly after this plus this one, the laptop compartment actually stops um, all the way down at the bottom. So the laptop compartment is not suspended. So even though the old bags, you know, they said that thing about the bomb proof laptop compartment, the thing is that on these old ones, the laptop actually stops all the way down at the bottom here. So your laptop is like literally right here. Now I put a piece of foam down here so that the laptop doesn't hit or a t-shirt or something. But just keep in mind that if you have the older versions of this bag, I think up until 2017 or 18, it did not, it was not raised up off the bottom. So you can put a bigger laptop in here, but it's not raised. I believe around 2018, as far as I know, as far as I've been told, is when it started to be raised. This bag is from 2019. And while the seam here, if you see this seam here, that is where the laptop compartment stops. Yeah, so that is where the laptop stops. So it is significantly raised up off the bottom. So this allows you to uh, keep the bag or keep the laptop raised. Definitely better for protection, but it means that the size of the laptop you can put in there is slightly smaller. So I believe I've covered most of the differences between the OG original GR1 and the current ones. I'm sorry that I haven't showed you, shown you a GR1 26 liter because honestly, I don't have one nearby, so it was difficult. And I just decided to go with that um, Wolf Grey guy, the 21 liter. I love that this one is slightly smaller and slightly shorter because I find that bag, the modern one, to be a bit too tall for me personally, standing at about 170 centimeters. Whereas this one, it fits me great. So just for argument's sake, I know that the GR2 or the GR1, I believe, is 20 inches tall. This one is about 18 and a bit, 18 and a half. Anyway, that's all. I was excited about um, about making this video just because uh, a lot of people have asked me how to tell the difference between the old ones and the new ones. Whether or not you want this one is completely up to you. It's not that easy to find one in decent condition anymore but I really like this version of it and I believe it is my favorite of the GR1. Obviously, like I have other Gorux I love too. I love the that Wolf Grey one that you saw earlier, but this will always have a very special place in my heart and is probably my favorite one. That said, they're all great. So, you know, kind of go with whatever you, uh, you want. As I mentioned, there are changes coming up on the channel soon, so stay tuned for that. Otherwise, I hope you guys have yourself a good weekend. Talk soon, kids. Bye-bye. Carry on.